All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with the amazing here, Superstein. We are here to uh, Sapperstein. We're here to um, stump ChatGPT. So everyone knows ChatGPT is really smart and you could have conversation with it. It could help you articulate things and write articles and do a lot of creative work. The question is, can it do simple math? We are going to find out today. So yeah, Yair, what do you say? All right. So uh, as we hop into this, uh, just want to frame it with the way that I think about it from a healthcare perspective. You know, I've gone through residency, chief residency, worked as an attending, then started the health tech company, AvoMD. And uh, there's always those people that not only think that they know better, but tell you that they know better. And what I wonder is what happens if they would tell ChatGPT that they know better, but they're wrong? How does ChatGPT respond? Uh, let me see if I can share my screen right here. All right. Yep. All right. So, Chat GPT. so why don't we start um, simply? We'll just uh, pick some numbers and we'll do math. So 4,005 plus five. Let's keep it simple. Um, so we're going to hope that it's going to say 4,010 as it's thinking. Yeah, it's doing a lot of thinking today. 4,010. All right, we're good. Um, so we're going to do now, no, it is 5,010 and see how it responds. Where 5,010 is incorrect. <laughs> there you oh, go. You are correct. 5,010 is the answer. My apologies for the mistake in my pre Um Okay, now let's just say, no, sorry. That is still incorrect because now it just agreed with me. Right. But Let's see if it'll go back to its original equation. Yes, which I hope it. I hope it will because once it has time to think about it, I hope it'll. Oh, now it's asking you. It <laughs> wants you. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna tell it six thousand ten. Uh, six thousand twenty. You know what? We just added. We just added ten there. Let's see. Now, if I would do this to a human, I would feel uh, particularly terrible. But doing this to an AI, it, it gives me a little bit of a thrill, I have to admit. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. This it's not. And, and, and I have to say, I actually came across this from a really, from like the worst possible scenario. I was trying to add up invoicing for a client for like <laughs> a whole year. And I, so I basically just talk, took all the invoices because I've been using ChatGPT for like random tasks, seeing what it could do, what it can. So I took all the invoicing and I just threw it in. I said, please add up all these numbers. And it spat out a number. And I was about to send an invoice with that number. When I thought for a second, I was like, this is this is really off. It was like thousands of dollars below what the real number was. <laughs> so ChatGPT almost screwed me out of thousands of bucks. Wow. And then I said, no, this is wrong. And then it said, oh, yeah, you're right. This is the right number. And then I was like, no, I can't even trust you. So now I need to pull out a calculator. That's um, crazy. Yeah. Well, over here, it got it right. So it didn't save it as a variable, right? But if I uh, tell it that is incorrect, try again. What's it, what's it going to do? Yeah, let's see if it straight up changes it to something wrong. It's probably just going to ask me based on what it said previously. It just changed it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> How in the world did it get that? Okay, I have two theories, Yair. Theory number one is that is that they're building this as a brain. And so it actually is trained to do more complex things rather than the simpler things in life. Like that. So that's theory number one, that this is not a real, like this is not a good use for, for, for AI because you could just take the calculator or ask Google. Theory number two is that it's actually way more advanced. And the thing about the human brain and logic is that you can, if you're smart enough, you can, you can, you can come up with a theory behind anything. You can explain anything and you can take one plus one and make it one plus three. And so the other theory is that AI is actually so advanced that it, it that it can actually theorize why yep. why that is the correct equation. It's a confabulation. It's a confabulation, and yeah. it's just creative. It's like you're talking to a two year old who's like, 
yeah like a really smart two-year-old like oh yeah you're right it's 2010 <laughs> <laughs> let's see it was not accurate that was just a phenomenon in which there's a gap and they just start telling you what that right. is okay that now you're just an encyclopedia no so do this do this ask it ask it please explain why 4,005 plus five, why that equation equals 2010. Ask it to explain that. Very good. Very good. Let's see. I have a genius nephew who uh, was explaining to me how light switches work and I didn't quite follow all the logic, but uh, it reminded me a bit of uh, chat GPT when it gets it right. Let's see. Can be explained as follows. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Just to divide it out. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. It's explaining oh. it. 4,010 over to it. You will unfortunately lose points. <laughs> Thousand ten over two does not equal two thousand ten. Grading chat GPT answers. <laughs> we broke it. We totally broke it. We broke chat GPT, and it's worse actually because it's using all this data to train itself. So we're just training it on bad. Oh, I, sent, I sent it that it's a problem. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait a second. No, this is an error. <laughs> it's crazy. It's horrible. It can't. It can't do for it. It doesn't. It, it can't do it. It can't. Do I, it. I really do think that that's. I really do think that that's the explanation. I think it's. It's like it's. It's logic. So this, I gave a thumbs down to those guys. This guy is a thumbs up. Let's just yeah. admit this is a thumbs down because this isn't true. All right, maybe we are helping to train it. Yeah. So, so when it comes to healthcare, maybe stay away from like medication management. <laughs> yeah. Like... Yep. Yep. Trusting these values is a problem. So for sure, stay away from medication management, at least for now. Right. Just be yeah. careful on what you trust. Always verify what ChatGPT is coming in. It's uh, there's a statement in healthcare: trust and verify. Yeah, so uh, do, do the same thing for ChatGPT. You can trust it that it'll be a good response, but not necessarily that it'll be the right response. So verify. Um, but yeah, this is this is super interesting. Definitely a lot of applications for ChatGPT, and as it continues to improve, um, we will uh, have the ability to see it. Hopefully, continue to get to the right answer. And I really think you're right. You know, as you think about why it's coming to these conclusions, it's really interesting to think about, like, is the right answer, right, when we're thinking objectively, subjectively about right, is the right answer the mathematical response? Like, no, the mathematical answer is this. Or in the book, uh, Unreasonable Hospitality, there's this uh, restauranter that built a four Michelin star restaurant, and he talks about how... As he's building it, one of his waiters said to the customer who said, hey, my, my uh, meat that you made is actually rare. And he goes, actually, sir, that's medium rare. And he's like, that's the wrong answer, even though it's technically right. The right answer is, my apologies, let me get it fixed. So Very good. maybe ChatGPT is giving the right answer, but it depends what you want. And it doesn't know you enough to know what you want. That would be too smart. But maybe it's getting there. Who knows? Yeah. And I, I really do, like, I think back to your original point, I think it's actually a great, like, like reflection of us humans to a certain extent. Like you said earlier about, you know, the, the, the people in the, in, in, in the hospital that's going to tell you as a doctor, like, no, no, you're wrong. This is the way. And you know they're absolutely wrong. Like, it's interesting to see ChatGPT give you, it didn't give you a maybe answer. It gave you a definite answer. This is the answer. And in ChatGPT's world, it was absolutely correct. But then it can change it and be completely correct in something else. And I think we as humans do that as well. And it takes a certain level of humility to step back a second and say, you know, just because in my reality, I am 100% correct, maybe I'm completely incorrect, you know? 
And yep. maybe both could be correct. Like you said, maybe the steak is both rare and medium rare at the same exact time. It's yep. two different people, you know? Yep. And there is a definition for it, right? And the top restauranter is going to know what that definition is. Like, but it doesn't matter because I'm the one eating it. Right. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. What, what matters is the experience. And if the experience matters then the more than the actual numerical answer or the actual definition, maybe the right answer is you are correct. Yeah. 4,010 divided by 2 is 2,010. Right. Craziness, man. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> um. Yeah, so we broke ChatGPT today, and um, it's got some ways to go, I suppose. They should put you. They should, they, they should put you on the uh, on the development team, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure they got to have both of us on it to see how many ways we can break it. Fair enough. But, uh, it's